<laughs> some of y'all clean, though. Some of y'all really. Y'all got some outfits on. Y'all shy. There's some layaway in here. You know. <laughs> Come on now. Don't act like your ass ain't familiar with layaway. You know, if it wasn't for black people, it wouldn't even be no layaway. You ever had something in layaway so long when they go get it, you don't even recognize it? See, it's amazing how we do when we start coming up. You know, I get tired of people coming to me sometimes. Talking about, Steve, you done come up now, you done, you changing and all this. I'm going to tell you something about me. The one thing I take most pride in is that I have maintained myself throughout this whole ordeal. You ain't, they ain't paying me enough money and I ain't that famous why I got to change. And a lot of it, but I want you to understand something. And just cause you on TV and you got a contract to play ball, that, ain't, that don't mean you done come up. Coming up means if you started here and you done got your ass to here, then your ass done come up too. That's what coming up really is. It ain't just people on TV. I ain't tired of people coming to me talking about you different. I ain't no different. Should you think cause I make a little bit of money now that I act, that I act different than you? You think I feel different about my money than you feel about your money? Uh-uh, shit, you got problems, I got problems. <laughs> bill collector call your house, bill collector call my house. You know, they might ask for a little bit more, but damn it, the call is the same. And I feel the exact same way about my money you feel about yours. When the bill collector called my, my house, my philosophy is the same. You damn right I got it. I just ain't sending it in. I got shit to do this weekend. Don't be kidding me. Because, <laughs> see, see, people think you changed. I ain't never changed. I, I'm the same person. You, you, it's, it's amazing. And, and a lot of y'all make the same mistake. Since we in L.A., let me say this. I don't say this in a lot of cities, but since it's the land of stars and everything, and some people ain't stars, let me say this to you. If you ain't on TV and your ass ain't an athlete, when you meet one of them people, don't walk up to their ass like they God Almighty. Don't do that to yourself. Because you're liable to find out that that's an asshole and you just didn't know it. So you put yourself in a bad position when you do that. But if you treat them people just like they're you, we got the same problems you got. Don't walk up to them all aghast and shit. That's you going to disappoint yourself. You're sending your kids over there. Go over there and get his autograph. Then when he don't want to sign your little ugly ass baby autograph, now you mad. I know his punk ass didn't sign his autograph. You son of a bitch. I ain't watching your little funk ass show no more. You ain't got to go there. You should have never sent your baby up to that boy. You didn't know how big a fool he was. It kills me the way people uh, approach people. You know, you got people approach people all the time that's wrong. You know, some, one, one time my wife did that to me. And, um, and I, I, ain't, I ain't got over that shit yet. Because, uh, you know, one time we was at NAACP Image Awards and she saw Michael Jordan. Ooh, 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 Michael Jordan. I said, motherfucker, Ann? Nobody give a shit about no Michael Jordan? I'm gonna run over there and get his autograph. You run over there if you want to. I'll trip your ass. I... Where Michael at now? I spent all this money buying her coats and shit. She gonna go see Michael Jordan. Don't do that to yourself. I'm telling you, a lot of y'all leave your man standing there when you see these stars and shit and go running up to him. You run over there if you want to. Fuck around, need a ride to the house. 